In the previous video, we learned about the getFieldProps helper method with which we could get rid of some boilerplate code. Although that is decent, we still have to manually pass each input the getFieldProps helper method. To save us even more time, Formic actually provides a few components that implicitly use React context to make our life easier and our code less verbose. Out of the several components that the Formic library provides, we are going to take a look at four of them to refactor our YouTube form component. Four components are Formic, Form, Field, and Error Message. Let's see how we can start refactoring our code with each of these components, starting with the Formic component in this video. The Formic component is a replacement to the use Formic hook. The argument which we pass to use formic as an object will be passed in as props to the formic component. Let's see how to replace use formic with the formic component step by step. First step, import formic instead of use formic. Step 2, we remove the call to use formic. Step 3, we wrap our entire form with this formic component. Now I don't really need this div tag, so I'll replace that with formic. Make sure to close it as well. Fourth and final step, pass in the different props to this formic component. And these are the same which we had specified when calling the use formic hook. So initial values, is going to be equal to initial values. Validation schema is going to be equal to validation schema. And finally, on submit is going to be equal to on submit. And that pretty much is the code refactoring for the formic component. It in fact behaves as a context provider component that provides the different properties and helper methods for the other three components we are going to use in the next few videos. So to summarize, import formic at the top, wrap your entire form with the formic component and pass in initial values, validation schema and the on submit function as the three props. Let's take a look at the form component next.